I remember him like been very influential uh, in through the, his work uh, in uh, Don't Look Back with Dylan and Eat the Document, etc. The kind of fluidity of his lens um, and the fact that there was nobody telling you what to think. There was no commentary, which is, um, if you like, one of the main influences I think that um, I've had as a filmmaker. I've always tried not to tell people too much what to think in a direct way. We've decided that we don't like what the, our square boxes living on our little semi-detached houses doing whatever everybody else expects of us. We have decided that we're just not going to conform with what everyone has told us to do. We're going to be different and because we're going to be different we're wrong. Thus the name Punk Rock. I was wanting desperately uh, to be whatever that creature was that I had imagined myself to be at the time. Uh, there's no doubt about it, like the, the archetype, the image is, is the Pennybaker independent filmmaker, I mean, uh, that, that was, the, that was the, the carrot in a way, looking back on it. But just to be that person. Uh, so the idea, uh, I mean, I sort of felt looking back on Shell Shock Rock that, you know, I had those ingredients, but I was in the right place at the right time. And here was, a, here was this wonderful thing. This, the only chink of light that was coming from the darkest streets of Belfast on the blackest night was kids coming together and, and making their, their music and uh, writing about it. I loved the fact that the, the shell shock rock was going through the bath in the BBC along with, you know, the bombs and the bullets and the, the reports about the violence. And here was this other thing, you know, the spirituality of that saying, no, fuck you, you know. This is likely more important. The reason it has survived is that, for me, looking back on it, it was not a film about punk rock. It was punk rock. And I think that's the key to it. I'll tell you, monster. Go and get it now. 